The screams of ecstasy coming out of this place in the morning must wake up every whorehouse and lost soul within a hundred mile radius of Barking. I think this could be one of our best reviews ever. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the page. Um, you join me here at Thames Cafe. Where are we, Callum? In Barking. Barking, River, is it River, River Road? Yep. River Road here in Barking. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we crack on with this video, we've got a sponsor, CP Packaging, the UK's leading packaging supplier. Bless up for supporting our page. We could not do it without you. Now, Callum. I don't know what I was expecting. I've been tipped off about this being the best chicken in London. Ooh. This is one of those special ones. I can tell already. Before we show you the food, have a little scan. Mm -hmm. This is You've got all of your regular stuff. Uh, your omelets, your breakfasts, cold sandwiches, hot sandwiches, your rolls, chicken burgers, all the usual suspects. And at the end over there, the chef special. Fresh chicken breast marinated in a special family recipe chicken. And there it is, Callum. Get it on. Ladies and gents, welcome to the Thames Cafe chicken kebab. This is a London legend, people. First things first, nine quid for a plate of food that big. That is a huge I don't plate. know if it looks how big it looks on camera, but it's it's deep. I've got chips, I've got rice, I've got pita, I've got salad, I've got tzatziki. But the star of the show. It's like a whole chicken. It's a lot of chicken. Can you see that sort of outer marinade on this chicken? Mate, I'm actually like, I need to pose myself. Have a bit of drink first. Drink watch. Fanta lemon. I'm actually a bit nervous. This place has got like, look, it's got a fruit machine with tinsel. Why has that got tinsel on it? You got boxes all around us here. Look, look at the crisp boxes there too, mate. Whoop. It's, it's, this place is a madhouse. So loads of staff. When we came in, uh, just the shutting now, I think. Shutting in 45 minutes. It's packed. Now it's just us in here. We're over at Callum's shoulders, all the team looking at me. So I feel a little bit nervous. We've driven about an hour to get here. No pressure. Now, I don't think I've ever smelt chicken remotely like this before. Callum, can you just verify this smells ridiculous? It does smell crazy. What does it smell like? It's like... I don't even know. Right. The marinade is like coming at me. That's all you can smell. I'm going to say... Like, it smells like a rich tomato pesto type thing. Mm. Here we go. Are you ready? Cooked on the grill as well. What? 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 Kings and queens aren't getting better than this. We go to Sylvia's in Harlem. we the best chicken. If only I knew I needed to come to the industrial estate in Barking. <laughs> if you walked in here, you would not believe that. Look, fairly under assuming, mate. It's like a regular, like, calf. That chicken is a star. The star of the show, bro. We got some rice in it. Right. You know what makes it even weirder is that it's like everything else in the menu is breakfast, like jack of potatoes, like traditional cap, and there's just that that little special, just that one meal. What Callum said there is bang on. It's pretty. It's a big menu, pretty standard. What you'd expect from a calf. This is their curveball signature chef's special. When he dropped it off, he said this is his dad's recipe. However many years, 
let's try and get, dive into the flavour. It feels like a tomato pesto marinade that's injected itself into the meat. And the meat has become the marinade. A wonderful, fresh, silky, slightly salty, slightly sweet marinade that pops off like a, uh, that's just magic. The screams of ecstasy coming out of this place in the morning must wake up every whorehouse and lost soul within a hundred mile radius of Barking. This is exceptional, exquisite, and mind bending. And then you got your regular boss man pitta, your regular chips. Nothing I haven't seen before. Just to remind you, you're sat in a calf. Just when you thought the Lord and Saviour himself has come down to make some chicken, there's the chips and there's the pitta, just to remind you, you're sat in a calf in Barking. Right, there's only one thing left. Try a bit of chicken in with some salad. In here with some rice. Before we sort of like deliberate, we'll try and put our score together. My mind has been recalibrated. So, the man that tipped me off about this place. Big John. The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Who wants a f***ing burger? Yeah, that job. That chicken is special, guys. Like, the rest of it, so-so. Maybe even the rest of the menu, so-so. That chicken is got a bit of warmth to it. It's touched my soul. It actually feels like the Lord and Saviour himself has come down and made that. It's charred to just the point where it hasn't affected the moisture levels of the chicken. The chicken is juicy, it's moorish, and this entire plate of food, nine quid. Callum, this is what it's all about. Right, ladies and gents, if you've enjoyed this video, please, one more time, hit the subscribe button for God's sake. Um, and if you're new here, watching on Facebook, give us a like, give us a share, or contribute and get in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you been here? Have you tried it? Or do you know somewhere that can compete? I'm going to give this a score today of... I'm going to give that chicken alone. Forget the rest of it, it's not important. Just that chicken. Mm. Nine, eight. Wow. You're only put, I'm only pulling uh, the point two there for, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> that chicken is worth a drive here. I don't really know what I'm just eating. Never had anything like that. We're licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.